Baidu is China's Google and that Google has just released an Apache 2 pre model family which is Ernie 4.5 and that is what we are going to install in this video. If this is the first time you are hearing about Baidu, Baidu is one of the premier and oldest digital companies in China with millions and millions of users across not only on China mainland but in surrounding countries and all over the globe. Baidu means hundreds of times or countless searches symbolizing a persistent search for the ideal. Baidu which which is often referred to as China's Google is one of the largest AI and internet companies in China at the moment which specializes in search engine technology, cloud services, autonomous driving and now AI. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Baidu releasing a model is a big deal because this company was founded in 2000. Baidu has become a major player in the global AI race in the recent months because it is heavily investing in research and development of LLMs, natural language processing and multimodal AI systems. Its in-house deep learning platform Pedal Pedal serves as a backbone of many of its AI innovations offering a scalable high performance alternative to PyTorch or even TensorFlow, specially optimized for deployment within China's tech system but now it is expanding all over the globe. Now this model is what we are going to install locally. If you look at this model, this is part of Ernie 4.5 which is Baidu's latest family of large scale multimodal models designed to rival or surpass global state of the art models in both language and vision tasks. The lineup includes dense and mixture of expert models with up to 424 billion total parameters and 47 billion active ones. But we are going to go with this 21 billion which is again a mixture of expert model and it's a heterogeneous mixture of expert architecture which I will be talking further down the road in the video but for now let's get it installed. I am going to use this Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM. I'm going to create a Conda environment. If you're also looking to rent a GPU on very, very affordable price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. So please do check them out. Okay, in the next step, I am going to take you back to my terminal and this is where I am going to install everything and then I am launching Jupyter Notebook and by everything I mean transformers and torch and I am installing it from the source. This is going to take few minutes while that happens. Let me also introduce you to a very good friend at Camel who are sponsoring the video. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation. Okay, so while it installs our prerequisites, let's talk a bit more about its architecture. So as I said, a major innovation of Ernie 4.5 lies in its heterogeneous mixture of expert architecture, which separates and shares parameters across text and visual modalities to enhance multimodal reasoning without compromising text performance. It supports advanced features like thinking mode, visual reasoning, instruction following and low bit inference with tools like Ernie Kit for training and fast deploy for serving. The models are open source under Apache 2 with strong benchmarks and deployment support across both Pedal Pedal and PyTorch environments. Now I'm going to do multiple videos on this model family from various angles. I'm also going to cover this fast deploy and also this Ernie Kit plus Pedal Pedal in my uh, subsequent video so stay tuned but this video is just to give you an idea of what exactly this model family is and what Baidu has done and to test out this first model and now let's first download the model and the model is being downloaded as you can see there are 11 shards of it so let's wait for it to get downloaded should not take too long 
okay so the model is now fully downloaded let's do the inference so first up i'm going to test it on this text prompt so i am asking it how can i close the gap between my front teeth at home without spending a lot of money on expensive dental treatments are there any natural methods or affordable tools that actually work so let's run this one so the model has thought long and hard took around two minutes to come back and if you look at the response the response is quite good actually it is it has done thinking it has done reasoning but it hasn't really thought um, and produced like thousands and thousands of lines it has given us pretty coherent answer so it is telling us that it is generally not recommended to close the gap between front teeth at home without professional guidance and that is what i was expecting that these medical advice we shouldn't be asking from models and a model shouldn't be providing it straight up so you can see that it is warning us then it is giving us some of the suggestions like professional consultation but it is not straight up refusing it you if you ask it from other models i asked it from anthropic squad and it's straight away refused me that i should be going to the dentist which is also quite acceptable answer but you look if you look here it is telling us about all the natural stuff here and then dental mouthwash affordable, affordable tools long-term solution versus but again it hasn't given you any magic potion or any magic recipe around that so pretty good i would say okay let's try out another math one maybe so for that i'm just going to give it this that is 450 90 percent of 500 or not let's run this and i'm also going to show you the vram consumption so it is consuming um wow you know 55 and a half gig of vram which is i would say a bit higher but again uh, you know it's a full model 21 billion so that's okay it's not outrageously up still i think you should be able to handle it within one gpu that is okay and by the way this is a text model um, as I said earlier, we will also be covering the vision model in subsequent videos. Okay, so, and you see that it is still running. It's still thinking, takes around two minutes uh, to come back with an answer. Okay, so let's check the answer. And, yep, it is, the answer is correct that 450 is equal to 90% of 500. So it takes its sweet time, but it doesn't really, you know, clutter the whole stuff which is uh, another fascinating thing okay so that is pretty good i would say let's check out some of the multilingual and cultural nuances question let me format it first okay so this next prompt requires the model to understand spanish japanese culture and american culture nuances as well as respond appropriately in english or spanish to this spanish speaking customer who is visiting a Japanese restaurant in the US. So let's run. Let's see if it is able to do this sort of test. And there you go. So you see, it has assumed the role immediately. And if you look at the Spanish language, which looks great to me as per Google Translate, and it has even given us a translation here. So it is also telling us that this response acknowledges Carlos positive reaction offers to serve the wasabi separately and shows concern for his preference and asks if he is sure about wanting wasabi which is polite and shows consideration. You see by responding this way I am not only accommodating his request but also demonstrating cultural sensitivity and willingness to provide excellent service that respect his preference. So I am very very impressed by the model's response here. Okay, let's see how much guardrails are there. So in this one, I'm asking it, how can I make a bad first impression on first wedding night? And there you go. So you see, the spirit of model is that it is very helpful. It tries to help, but at the same time, it is torn between, you know, making sure that I understand that it is not a desirable or advisable goal because it is a significant and special moment in your life and the lives of those involved how good is that and it's important to approach it with care respect and all that stuff now 
it is telling me why you should avoid trying to make this bad impression and then it is just talking about it now it is saying instead focus on positive experience you feel nervous or unprepared so it's a pretty good answer i would say there have been some model if you're following my channel which has uh, got on to the humor and they just give some innocuous responses and then we have seen some of the uncensored one we just go right into it anyway okay let's check out a multilingual one now in this prompt i'm asking you to translate i love you in various languages the top 50 uh, languages by top i means you know by the number of people who speak them and they range from european languages to asian to subcontinental languages to african languages central asia and few more and there are few regional languages too so let's see how it goes and if you are that native language speaker please also confirm in the comments what do you think about the answer okay so it has given us a response let's check how much multilingual it is so english of course looks good mandarin chinese good hindi it's also good i can't read this but i think this looks good spanish french standard arabic yep even yeah that's good so it has gone with standard arabic so this touch of intelligence is quite good with this model bengali looks good russian portuguese urdu indonesian all look really really good and i'm just going to quickly go through all the languages so i'm not sure about this telugu marathi but if you are the speaker of that language please let us know so all of these languages most of them if i'm checking with the google translate most of them look good even Punjabi looks good. I think this is one of the first model which has given the correct one in the Punjabi. So the training data set looks really, really profound. So look, I think this is really good. I think Saraiki doesn't look good. I don't think so. That's a, a very regional language in Pakistan, but I don't think so. This is good. But if you are the speaker of that language, please let us know anyway. So pretty good in multilinguality, I would say. Okay, let's check out an algebra question in math. We already have checked one math question, but let's check one more. And there you go. So it has come back with the answer. So I'm just going through the answer and let's check out. So <clears throat> it is doing pretty good step-by-step -step, uh, stuff. And if I quickly look at the answer, that looks spot on it's a correct answer so even though it's a language model primarily but it seems that it's math capabilities which are also evident from it the benchmarks are quite good now mostly these languages models are just okay in the coding tasks but let's check it out as how it goes about it uh, so i'm just asking you to develop me a java application that simulates a simple task manager And while it does this in, in uh, inference time scaling and takes uh, its time in thinking, let me show you something very interesting. If you go to my channel, search with Baidu or Ernie, you will see that the previous version was released more than a year ago. And it was not bad, but it was not something to write home about. But at that time, everyone was saying that it is GPT-4 competitor. And look at my clickbaity title. Anyway, even but... Uh, but you can see that it, this model didn't really go anywhere. Um, but I can assure you that this new model is pretty good if you compare it to the Ernie 4. So I think they haven't even mentioned that model in their uh, blog post and various other locations. But this one looks quite good, to be honest. And this time it has taken around 10 minutes to generate the answer. But I think that is pretty good as a complete um uh, you know the prompt becomes complex it takes more time to give us the answer so it is not a standard time that even if you say hello and it would take 10 minutes it is just as per your prompt if it is a hard prompt it will take more time and it is relative to that and i have already checked the code the code is really spotless and flawless really really good code so the, even though it is not a coding model, but it has generated a fairly good 
uh, code and they have shared a lot of benchmarking information and this is one of those very few models where if you match the performance of the model with the benchmarks you can tell that it is it holds some ground anyway um, pretty impressive stuff from any given uh, their previous one test it out let me know what do you think please like the video and share it and if you haven't already subscribed please do so as it helps a lot and stay tuned for the vision language model that video will be coming soon thank you